on playing the rest of Patrick Mahomes' career and not stopping until the day he retired. We pick up in the current day NFL with Patrick as a member of the 99 club, but I mean, he's only 27 years old, so his career should have at least 10 seasons left. I wonder how many more Super Bowls he's gonna win with this stacked team. Now from here, we're simming to the end of his first season and we'll continue to do so season by season, making sure to track his career every step of the way until Patrick actually makes another Super Bowl, which at that point, I'll play the entire game and try my absolute best to get him his 7,000th ring. I'm curious to see what Mahomes does at the end of his massive contract. Like, does he stay a Chief for life or eventually sign elsewhere? I mean, did anybody think the Chiefs weren't gonna win the division? I'm expecting this every season of Mahomes' career. I mean, we only had the best offense in the league. Imagine how good this team could be, though, if we actually could get a good defense. Patrick with a ridiculous first season today. Almost 5,000 yards, 35 touchdowns to only four picks with a 75% completion percentage. That's not even fair. Now, I have to say it does suck that he didn't hit the 5,000 yard mark because throwing for 5,000 yards is just one of the five career challenges that he must complete the day before he retires. And if he does complete all five, Patrick wins, which means I have to buy a Patrick Mahomes jersey and give it away to a random lucky subscriber in the comments. So you guys should be rooting for Patrick while at the same time, I kind of root against him. Definitely would prefer not to have to waste money on a jersey I'm not even gonna wear. Now look at Isaiah Pacheco with a strange season, like a really bad average yard per carry, but 16 touchdowns is nice. And Richie James going for 1,300 yards and 16 touchdowns, let me tell you, that wasn't on my bingo card. Three 1,000 yard receivers almost had four with Kadarius Tony. Disappointed though that Justin Ross, Sky Moore, and Rasheed Rice didn't get a single catch all year. There's no shot all three of these guys end up as bust, right? And no biggie, just Patrick leading the NFL in passing yards by over 300 yards. Only threw the fifth most passing touchdowns. And wild to me that 75% completion percentage wasn't best in the NFL. Now, were those numbers good enough for Patrick Mahomes to win his first MVP today? Remember, he's gonna need three. Those numbers were ridiculous. Joe Burrow steals it from him. How did Mahomes not win it? He at least had to make another Pro Bowl, though, so at least he can get on the board. There it is. Pro Bowl appearance number six of his career. I'm sure Patrick doesn't give a crap about the MVP award as long as he can make it back to the Super Bowl. First, he has to beat the Dolphins here who had a really good season and it looks like we got a big win. But now we have to take on the 14-3 Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. And if we do find a way to win, it doesn't get any easier because we'll have to play either Joe Burrow or the one seed Ravens and Lamar Jackson in the championship. One step at a time though, let's see if Mahomes can once again take down Josh Allen here in the playoffs. I mean, I would think we could win. We got demolished. How on earth did Patrick Mahomes only throw for 149 yards? He only completed 20 passes all game. What the heck were we doing? That's an absolute putrid offensive performance. Hey, at least I didn't get fired. Ends up being the Cowboys to win one of the strangest Super Bowls I've ever seen. Now, it is going to be important to track the Chiefs offseason each and every year because we have to see how they're building the team around Patrick because eventually they are gonna lose Travis Kelsey and they're gonna have to replace him somehow. I mean, they did make four signings, but two of the four were running backs. At least they didn't lose Willie Gay off the defense. Our front office has a chance to make it up to us, though, with a good draft class here. I mean, we got three players 70 overall or higher and our defense is pretty bad, so like, I guess that's an okay draft. A year older, but Mahomes is still a 99 overall. Now, I am extremely curious to see how long into his career he can hang on to that 99. 99, which at least six of the next seasons are going to be here in Kansas City. Imagine he does actually sign elsewhere. Now into 2024, I think this offense again has a chance to be the best in the league. And the defense isn't that bad. I mean, honestly, as long as Patrick Mahomes is the quarterback, anything less than 12 wins would be considered like a subpar season. As mentioned, kind of subpar for Patrick Mahomes standards. Still won the division though, they'll make up for it by making the Super Bowl here. Now I'm really hoping that this isn't about Travis Kelsey, because if this is about Travis Kelsey, that means he's probably gonna retire. Oh no! Even Patrick admits it! God dang, man, we've gotta win the Super Bowl, because it might be a while till we make it back. Although it does just say potential retirement, so you never know. Another season with the best offense in the league, and a small improvement from the defense? Now that is just stupid numbers. Less yards, but he threw 41 touchdowns, only two picks. Bro, if he doesn't win the MVP with these numbers, that stupid award is rigged. Imagine Mahomes' number of Pacheco 
though, didn't run for 16 touchdowns every season. So let me tell you, our young receivers did step up this season. From zero catches last season to 1,300 yards and 14 touchdowns. Same thing with Rasheed Rice. Almost had 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns. So I'm excited still. Even with Travis Kelsey's potential retirement, this offense is in really good hands. Led the NFL again in passing yards. Couldn't beat out Geno Smith for passing touchdowns, though. Come on now. Give Mahomes his first MVP of the day so he can get on the board. What does that even mean, bro? This award is tainted. What did Lamar do to deserve this? 41 touchdowns to two picks and you don't win MVP? I've got to see what Lamar did to deserve that. Less yards. I mean, did throw for 41 touchdowns, but three more interceptions. I mean, he only ran for 706 touchdowns. Like, I feel like we still should have won that. At least something's going right for Patrick. Hopefully, Patrick can take his frustration and channel it towards the Super Bowl run here, starting with the win over his division rival Raiders. Like, no way the Raiders beat us in Kansas City. We lost. Are you kidding me? Maybe because the defense let Jimmy G throw for five touchdowns. Our front office has got to sure up our defense with some free agent pickups this offseason. Got to. Well, looks like the 49ers won the Jimmy Garoppolo Bowl. I'm actually so afraid to see here if Travis Kelsey actually retired. Oh my gosh. Did our man actually stay for another year? As of now, our guys still achieve. And still at the age of 35 is a 91 overall with Superstar X Factor. Like, you can play another two, three seasons. Curious how many years he has left on his contract. Just one, which means next year is probably gonna be his last. So please, man, guys in the front office, make some moves so we can actually win a playoff game and go on a Super Bowl run in Travis Kelsey's last year. Because after that, the offense could go backwards. Well, across the NFL, there were some strange moves this offseason. Very strange. But what did Patrick Mahomes' Chiefs do? Well, bare minimum, at least they didn't let any of these guys go. If they did, I would have cried. Now, did we add any extra talent? No, dude. We didn't sign a single free agent. Sign no one, but cut five players. This better be the most incredible draft class I have ever seen. It's gotta be. We can't waste Kelsey's last year with Mahomes. Give us one stud, like three players, seven or above, and I will take it. Just not a complete disaster here, and uh, it's okay. But interesting enough, it does look like we got our hair to Travis Kelsey. Didn't come with hidden development, though, which is kind of an L. I'm just hoping in 2025, this team can actually win a playoff game. We lost Kadarius Tony too, so like, man, this could be a step backwards. And defense definitely has some holes. Probably the least talented team Mahomes has had around them today, but at the same time, Mahomes is the quarterback. Like, they should still be winning the division, right? I told you guys, Patrick Mahomes just doing Patrick Mahomes things. Gosh dang it, it says it again. Maybe if I just continue to watch this cutscene, he'll actually never retire. We got knocked off as the top offense. At least that's the best defensive performance we've had yet. Cowboys dethroned us by quite a bit. Just another stupid good season for Mahomes, but oh no, probably won't win MVP. Isaiah Pacheco's turned out to be a nice little running back. And Rasheed Rice has turned out to be a very solid receiver. But if Kelsey does retire, we're gonna miss those 16 touchdown seasons. He's gonna make sure we actually make it to the Super Bowl this year. Now, please tell me our man finally won an MVP. He's deserved it. Finally! My God, winning the MVP in this game is the hardest thing I've ever done. Progress for Mahomes. Not to mention his eighth Pro Bowl appearance. More progress. There's just no way Patrick Mahomes gets first rounded two consecutive seasons. Just no shot. No shot. Thank God we finally get a win. We've yet to make it to the conference championship yet. Trevor Lawrence and the Jags stand in our way at Arrowhead. We should have the advantage and we lose by 13. Oh my God. Is Patrick Mahomes gonna ever make it to another Super Bowl? At least I get to save my money if he doesn't. Bryce Young wins a Super Bowl before Patrick gets another one. Elias Campbell's gotta be 57 by this point. The moment of truth though, man. Please tell me Kelsey is gonna stick around at least one more year. He's actually staying another season. That's if, though, we actually re-sign him. I mean, he's sticking around while some big, big boys are riding into the sunset. I mean, he's still here rocking out. Don't know why he's gotta keep stressing me out, though. But at least positives from the season. Rasheed Rice is up to superstar. He's about to be an 86 overall. I mean, Pacheco's killing it. Our offensive line's gotta be one of the best in the entire league. I mean, if our front office could just spend some money, man, I guarantee you we'd make the Super Bowl. 
please tell me we did re-sign Travis Kelsey, and of course we did, to a two-year $26 million deal. So that means he should play another two seasons. Now, please tell me there was money spent elsewhere, and it wasn't. We just went two consecutive off seasons with not signing a single free agent. Looks like we got brand new coordinators though. Can you please just give me a banger draft class for once? I'm still waiting on like that 77, 78, 79 overall generational prospect. We just got some offensive depth. I mean, this receiver could end up being massive for us. I'm telling you, 2026 is gonna be the year this team finally shines. Can't believe we're not spending the money on outside linebacker talent. I still fully trust Patrick Mahomes to lead us to another 12-win season, maybe get our first 13-win season. There's no way Patrick Mahomes came in last place. Like, look at our teams overall, dude. Fire those new coordinators ASAP. That's the worst our offense has performed so far, and our defense sucked again. I mean, that is the least productive season he's probably had in his career, but that's still ridiculous numbers. And no, I did not expect that rookie receiver we drafted to lead our team in receiving yards. Still great production from she Rice, although that's like the first time in a long time Kelsey didn't eclipse a thousand yards. I mean, he is about 403 at this point. So I'm assuming no MVP for Mahomes. Even with those numbers, he did come in six. I wonder if these numbers were at least good enough to make the Pro Bowl so this season wasn't a complete failure. No, it wasn't. For the first time, he doesn't make the Pro Bowl. Literally the first time in his career. There's no way Travis Kelsey can ride into the sunset off of that stinker of a season. The Giants and Ronald Whitfield win one today before Patrick. Oh, as a Titans fan, I'm depressed. Travis Kelsey has to fulfill his contract, right? He has one more year left. Okay, thank the Lord. I mean, we have 50 mil available in cap room. So hopefully for once, we actually sign some quality free agents. Our front office has to. They just saw the stinker we had last year. They did bring back Chris Jones on a one-year deal. Why don't we sign free agents? I just don't understand the logic behind it. I mean, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs deserve to fail. Unless this is the greatest draft class of all time, the depression is gonna start to set in. At least this time, we got ourselves two quality defenders, which we needed badly. The rest of the class was horrible, though. 2027 has gotta be a better year for this squad. And Mahomes is already down to a 98 overall at the age of 31. But hopefully by the end of this season, he'll rejoin the 99 club. As a 98, he's only the fourth best QB. Just out of pure curiosity, he has three years left on his contract. And at the rate things are going, man, he might very well want to leave. Things continue to get worse, though. Travis Kelsey is all the way down to an 83 superstar. So I think there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is his last year as a chief, and our defense really doesn't look much better. We gotta let Travis Kelsey go out here with a fight. Thank the Lord, right back where Patrick Mahomes belongs. Not falling for it again, Travis. Uh-oh. Rasheed got himself superstar, although I don't know why he's not in a Chiefs jersey. Back to having at least a top five offense. Oh my god, dude, our defense jumped all the way to fourth. Ooh, what the frick happened, Patrick? I mean, that's more than double the amount of interceptions he's thrown any other season. Checo, like, always has the same stat line, but oh my god, Patrick Mahomes with definitely a career-high eight rushing touchdowns. Maybe that's at least good enough for another Pro Bowl appearance? That's like the worst production I've really seen from our wide receiver core. Those eight rushing touchdowns got Mahomes third place in the MVP voting. I mean, hopefully he at least made a Pro Bowl. He did make number nine. Patrick's so close to finally completing a career challenge. It's gotta be time for a Super Bowl run, dude. We already let the Raiders first round us once today. There's no way we let the Raiders once again beat us at home in a playoff game with Patrick Mahomes and we lost by seven. It's impossible to make a Super Bowl a Madden 24 franchise. Let me tell you, I am actually in shock. No shot. The Falcons win a Super Bowl before Mahomes. I have a feeling, dude, this was the year. Well, Chris Jones retires, but where's Travis Kelsey? Our guy is still hanging in there. At 38 years of age, and he's really only a 79 overall. Now, the one positive thing I did notice here, the one positive from last year is the fact that Rasheed Rice now has a superstar X factor, but Mahomes continues to slowly go down to a 97. We have 120 mil to spend. Maybe if I actually don't ask him to spend it, they'll actually sign one free agent for the first time in four seasons. They gave Travis Kelsey another 10 mil. And oh my god. 
God, we signed one free agent. Bro, we still have $100 million to spend. What are you doing? We could have spent it all on defenders. Our defense looks so bad. Honestly, in this draft, just take seven straight defenders because I think our team's going to need it. And as far off Patrick seems from his career challenge, like this is all stuff that he really could complete in just two seasons. So he's not out of it just yet. Oh, boys, this was not the time. Not the time at all to have the worst draft class of Patrick's career. Career. Now this year, Patrick has his least talented team ever by far, but as long as we have Patrick Mahomes at the throne, literally anything is possible. Hey man, at least we made it back to the playoffs. I think Travis Kelsey said this every season for the last eight years. So we again had the top offense in the NFL, but we had the dead last defense. Now that, my friends, is way more like it. And as you see, Mahomes barely, just barely eclipsed 5,000 yards on the year, which finally completes his first career challenge. This has got to be MVP numbers too. Pacheco again with a thousand yards and on the ground Mahomes had five rushing touchdowns which does help. Look at the resurgence from Travis Kelsey. He might be in his 60s but he still had a thousand yards and 12 touchdowns. Yeah he led the league in passing yards. He led the league it looks like in passing touchdowns. That has to be MVP worthy. I'm telling you man if that was not good enough for MVP this award is 100% tainted. Patrick Mahomes that's MVP number two. Patrick continues to make some progress. Now that also should mean that our guy got his 10th Pro Bowl. I can't believe he's still a 98 with X Factor at 32. And yes, in fact, he did make his 10th career Pro Bowl, which is good for another challenge completed. His time as a chief might be coming to an end though. We do have an extremely tough matchup with the 14 and three Ravens here. So I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't be surprised if we got first rounded here, which probably means we're actually gonna win. No, we lost. I mean, I can't can't believe today Mahomes hasn't even made a conference championship. Well, the Texans and Joe Burrow won a Super Bowl before Patrick. I swear to you, Travis Kelsey's never retiring. His overall might be a six at this point. He's still giving this freaking game everything he's got. Almost 40. It's okay to retire. Can't wait to see what our front office spends this $115 million in cap on. Of course, Travis is going to stay a chief until his legs stop working. Did we finally spend some cash? Oh my god, boy. Yes, we did. We actually spent some big money on Elton and like some decent money elsewhere. Like no real superstars, but... Finally, we bring in some quality free agents. It's more free agents than we've signed like the last six years combined. Now, what are the odds we can actually top it off with a really good draft class? Okay, so like I know it's not an insane class or anything, but we got some talented defenders that we really needed. Mac Mayo's a wild name. Can the last season of the decade please be the year this team finally makes it back to a Super Bowl? I just don't know if this defense is good enough, unfortunately. We're gonna need Mahomes to work another one of his miracles. No big deal. They just went out and had the worst season of Mahomes' career. Patrick has got to get out of Kansas City ASAP. I mean, we had a top two offense, man. Our defense is what's putrid. I mean, you can't be mad at that season from Mahomes. I mean, Pacheco with like the best season of his career. Still have multiple receivers balling out. Our defense is just so bad. Nobody can get to the QB. The lowest finish in the MVP race of his entire career career also. Let's just forget about this season ASAP. That was depressing. I just want to make a Super Bowl so I can freaking play. Apparently, Travis Kelsey wants to play to 100. Bro, you're not even the starter anymore. Give it up. He's 40 years old, now has normal development. Like, you just got to call it quits, Travis. Man, Pacheco's at the point where he's really starting to regress. Why are we wasting money on Kyler Murray? One of the few years we signed free agents and one of them's on a backup QB. But of course, we also gave 90 year old Travis Kelsey for mil. That's because Mahomes is no longer a chief. Bro, I had zero idea. Let me tell you something, boys. This is a massive twist. Apparently, Patrick Mahomes was as tired of the nonsense as I was. But the question is, where the heck did our man sign? Oh my gosh, what if he retired? Is he like still a free agent? Because I haven't seen where he signed. He's not a Titan, unfortunately. He's not a Bear. He's not a Bingle. He's not a Bill. He's not a Bronco. Where's our 
man at? He's a Buccaneer. The Bucs spent money on him when they already had a good QB behind him. Let me tell you something, boys. I did not expect this at all. I mean, he's still a 95 overall with X Factor. Only 34, so he still has plenty of time left. I wonder, though, if they gave him one of those Mickey Mouse one-year deals. They did. Why wouldn't you lock up Patrick Mahomes for multiple seasons? I mean, it looks like he's joining a really talented team. They did spend a little money outside of Mahomes, which I'm sure they couldn't afford much. Now, let's see if the Bucks front office can draft better than the Chiefs. First Tampa Bay draft, and we've already got the highest-rated draft pick of Mahomes' entire career. So maybe we can actually cook up something here in Tampa Bay. I mean, honestly, he enters an offense that was better than what he had in Kansas City. Now, the big question is their defense any better and it has some pieces I mean I, I say it's better than what he had I mean the team's a higher overall with an 88 offense imagine Mahomes pulls a Tom Brady and makes the Super Bowl the very first year he's a ball I'm not even gonna lie bro that is the funniest thing I have seen in all of Madden 24 his first season as a Buccaneer the only team he loses to the entire year is the Falcons that is so insane that literally is the first time he's got a first round by in what the past like eight nine seasons which he's gonna be taking on the eight nine cardinals bro we have to beat the eight nine cardinals for patrick mahomes to make the conference championship game for the first time in the past eight seasons but first we need to see if he won the mvp by chance which of course he had the best offense in the entire league see what happens when he has a top 10 defense i mean that's again stupid numbers dude especially considering he completed 77 percent of his passes on a 16 to 1 team man that has has got to be MVP worthy. Which receivers did he connect with here in Tampa Bay? He had three 1,000 yard receivers, so pick one of the bunch. Which I'm kind of scared to check here how bad the Chiefs did year one without Mahomes. They had the second worst record in the league. They didn't even score 300 points all year. Poor Kansas City. Blame your front office for not ever spending money. This has got to be an MVP for Mahomes. This has got to, if not man, rig. Not rig. Not rig. Patrick Mahomes has completed himself another career challenge. But with a 16-1 record, man, Mahomes has got to make the Super Bowl here. He has got to. The Commanders are the only thing that stands in our way of making our first Super Bowl of the day. If Mahomes makes it to the Super Bowl his first year as a buck, that is actually going to be hilarious. Our man is literally a Tom Brady clone. Which, before we gotta do some scouting, nice young QB, nice young running back. Their talented receivers have stuck around I mean, they got a loaded defense. But if anybody can pick apart a good defense, it's Patrick freaking Mahomes. Now, to make sure I don't tank this Super Bowl on purpose to taint Patrick Mahomes' career, to ensure I give this game my absolute all, if I do lose, I have to give away a copy of Madden 24 to a random subscriber in the comments. But you know what? I got Pat Mahomes. We're not losing. Even if we win this, he still has to win another one on his own. That's just not gonna happen, right? Now, since Mahomes doesn't play defense, we simulate it this way. And the Broncos keep moving the ball. Come on, defense, get off the field. Don't choke now. They scored a touchdown drive one, of course. Guess it's just time for Mahomes to answer. Look, it'll pass off the line of scrimmage. Good start. Very, very good start down to the 50. Running read option because I can, and this is going to be a massive game. Mahomes, not fast enough. If he was like five speed faster, he could have took that to the house. Going to try a little screen pass here, and we got some space. We get past this man. And my controller dies. That's anticlimactic. Imagine I score here. I mean, it was still a big game. A wide open receiver on the outside. That's gonna be Brandon Ayuk for the first down. Oh, we gotta make the most of this opportunity. Just dump it off here. I'll pick up about three. That unfortunately is gonna be the end of one. Hopefully, next time we're on defense, we don't let the Broncos take up the entire quarter. No mistakes here in the red zone. The slant, it's open, it's a catch. I am gonna try QB draw. And Mahomes ran backwards, which is never ideal. And you best believe I'm going for this. Please, please. You know what, Mahomes? Oh, this is going to be a walk-in touchdown. Let's go. Not going to lie, I got scared there for a second. We did our job. Now it's time for our defense to do theirs, which looks like they're not. Our defense just refuses to get off the field. We finally just forced a field goal. But now we don't even have two minutes to score here. I'm just going to have to heave it up. Oh my, I was so scared. Open receiver over the middle. Come on, make the grab. Oh, what a play. I need somebody to come up clutch here. Oh no, 
I just am glad that wasn't a pick. But unfortunately, we did have to punt the football, and our defense, thank God, got off the field for once. Gonna make sure we're smart with the football here. Just get it to our running back. Who's gonna drop the ball again? What is going on? Maybe Ayuk is overthrown. Mahomes overthrew a wide open receiver. I could really, really use somebody to get open here. Alright, I'm gonna have to throw it. Please go make the grab. Oh, I hit him in the hands again! Which means, yes, we have to punt again. Which we've already made it to the second half, but we've gotta start playing better on offense. Oh, the slant should be open. Brandon Ayuk's gonna make the grab on the run. Let me try another little screen pass here. Like, they're working pretty well. Maybe I need to throw screens all the way down the field. Somebody get open. Somebody get open. The post is open. Young, the throw. A dot. Young down within the 10-yard line. We're touched down here, boys. We have that lead, and hopefully we'll never look back. We'll just dump it off in the flat to the running back. This little spin move gets us down at the 6. It'll be smart here. The running back was kind of open. We're going to take off again. Mahomes to the corner, and he's down at the 1. I actually beg here. Somebody get open. The running back makes the grab, and he's going to drop the ball. He dropped the ball to fourth and goal. We scored on our last fourth and goal. Hopefully, we can make it two for two, and it was too easy. Now, if our defense can get another stop here, we're really going to be in business. They get the first. No touchdowns. No touchdowns. They're going to allow a touchdown, aren't they? They're not. They, they, they are. They missed. Wait, what's going on? They missed a field goal? Trust me, I don't mind if I do. Now, let's go up by two possessions, because that would make the fourth quarter a lot less stressful. Ayuk on the drag. He's my little safety valve for the first. Oh, Titans should be wide open here on the run. Is this a touchdown? Get out of my way, Riff. Westerman to the house. Touchdown, Bucks. That's huge. If we keep them out of the end zone here, boys, it might be a GG, my boys. It might be a GG. One more touchdown to put this Super Bowl on lock. At least we've performed so much better here in the second half offensively. An open receiver again. Mahomes with another dot. And that will bring us into the fourth quarter. There is just no way that we choke this, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no, we fumbled. That's why we don't run the ball. That honest to God might have put the Broncos right back in this thing. I mean, we've already forced them to a fourth and eight and they kick a 57 yard field goal now. It's once again a one possession game. At bare minimum, we have got to have a field goal here. Oh no, he gets sacked first play. I didn't wide open again, man. If you're not gonna cover him off the line of scrimmage, I mean, throw it. Oh, this could be big or not. It's a flag. We actually are going to get a face mask. That is hilarious. Give it to me, ref. Oh, I had an open receiver and I choked. So oh, I'm just going to do the smart thing and throw the ball away. We need like 15 more yards to be in field goal range and Aldridge is going to get five. Be smart here. Brandon Ayuk over the middle. It's way too easy. Problem is I'm kind of scared to run the ball because of that last fumble, but I'm going to continue to be smart. Got to be able to get an inch here. Make up for that fumble. Too easy. Run up the middle again. Winston's going to get a big, big first down. Oh, so much room for Mahomes, but he's so slow. He's so slow. Just don't you dare fumble. I'm only throwing the ball here if my receiver is wide freaking open. Nobody's wide open, but there's a lot of wide open space again. Mahomes, please, let's get the first. Oh, we're so close. It's a fourth and inches. We got fourth down so many times today to win the Super Bowl here. Come on, Winston, man. Make up for that fumble. We got the space. That's a touchdown. Winston made up for his earlier error by clinching ourselves a Lombardi trophy. Unless the Broncos score in like two seconds and get an on side kick. I mean, they did score a touchdown. They did get the extra point. And we recovered the onside kick, which officially means Patrick Mahomes has won himself a Super Bowl with the first time of trying with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Honest to God, can't believe this. But boys, don't get too excited. As awesome as this Lombardi trophy is for Patrick Mahomes, he still has to find a way to win another one. If I've learned anything, boys, is that you just never doubt Patrick Mahomes. Bucks only lost a quarterback to retirement, so maybe next season they can run it back. But first, we have to see if the Buccaneers even re-sign Patrick Mahomes. He was only on a one-year contract. Now, I have to say, if they don't re-sign him after winning a Super Bowl, like, that would be stupid. Like, maybe one of the worst decisions ever. The moment of truth, did they, in fact, re-sign Patrick Mahomes? And of course they did, to a one-year, $45 million contract. Now, did they spend money elsewhere? Oh, boy, yes, they did. This is gonna be so refreshing for Mahomes. Holmes actually having a front office that takes things seriously. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty deep little draft class. 2031, what are the odds this squad can run it back? And as an 
update, Mahomes is currently 6 all-time in passing touchdowns, so he still has quite a ways to go to pass Tom Brady, but it's definitely doable, especially considering the fact that he's a 93 overall with a superstar X-Factor, which even though he's 35, he'll still probably play for quite a while, hopefully for your guys' sake. I'll be happy with the division crown, because I don't quite know if it's possible, you know, to repeat a 16 in one year. Didn't win the division, didn't even come in second place, did come in third place, but at least comes with the playoff spot. I mean, again, we had the best offense in the league. The defense was even better, so how'd we lose five more games? Another stupid good season for Mahomes. 4,700 yards, 36 touchdowns to only three picks, and again, has three 1,000-yard receivers. Now, is that good for another MVP? And consider me surprised, because it actually is. Two years in Tampa Bay, two MVPs. I don't think it's a coincidence. Now, what are the odds Tampa Bay and Patrick Mahomes can actually go back to back? Hopefully, because this could be his last year in Tampa Bay. We lost by 35. So I'm not gonna lie. That's actually not what I expected. With these numbers, how on earth did they score 42 points to our seven? That makes no sense. A 35-point loss cannot be Patrick Mahomes' last game in Tampa Bay. I have to say, personally, this makes my heart happy. Looks like Washington was just a dang good football team. With $168 million in available cap, the Buccaneers again have to re-sign Mahomes. Give them a billion dollars if you have to. Gotta be kidding me. It looks like they actually let Mahomes walk. I'm telling you, some of these organizations are just so stupid. Now, where the frick did our guy go? He's a cult. So that is a strange fit that I didn't expect. Looks like he joins a super young and talented team, but why would they do that when they have 90 Anthony Richardson right behind them. I mean, Mahomes is still a 90 overall at 36 years of age, but something tells me this is gonna be his only season as a Colt. I guess the main question now is what team is he gonna sign with next offseason? Honestly, as a Titans fan, I hope the Colts and Mahomes don't win the division. Yes, we came in dead last. I mean, we still had an okay offense and a pretty good defense. Okay, so yeah, Patrick Mahomes needs to get out of Indy ASAP. That is a career low in passing touchdowns. We just ran the ball a lot and not very good at that. Yeah, this receiving core just didn't do it for Patrick. Absolutely zero shot Patrick sticks around for another year. So the Colts and Patrick parted ways. Can't believe the Chiefs didn't keep him in Kansas City forever when you have the Bills still re-signing Josh Allen. Justin Herbert stuck around with the Chargers. But now to find out where Mahomes goes next. Patrick Mahomes heads to Pittsburgh just as Joe Burrow heads to Chicago. I mean, he joins an OK K squad, which probably has the most talent on defense he's ever been a part of. And even as a great grandfather, our guy still has X Factor as an 88 overall. But again, another team that signs Mahomes when they have a really good young starter already with a team that almost made the playoffs last year. I fully expect the Steelers to win the division now that they have Mahomes. Okay, so we had the same exact record, but somehow we squeezed in the playoffs. Again, almost a top five offense. How are the Steelers defense so bad? I mean, again, it's good seasons from Patrick Mahomes, they just didn't throw the ball as much in Pittsburgh. They were too busy letting their second string running back vulture all the touchdowns. Finally had two 1,000 yard receivers again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really liking Patrick's chances here, but hey, it's Patrick Mahomes. Anything can happen except beating the Bengals. As much as he's made the playoffs, I feel like Mahomes might have the record for most times first rounded. But now time to see if Mahomes retires, stays with the Steelers, or signs elsewhere. He's sticking around for a at least another season. But the question is, will it be as a Steeler? Oh, wow. To my surprise, the guy actually remained in Pittsburgh. He's two years away from hitting 40, but he's still an 87 overall with X Factor, so he still has the capability to put up crazy numbers. I mean, I can't believe he's not getting more than 20 mil a year. But I know you guys desperately need Patrick to make a Super Bowl ASAP. He has to win another one or you guys don't get a jersey. And Patrick Mahomes showing that he has a little juice left. It is insane as a 38-year-old for only the second time today leads his team to a first-round buy. I'm telling you, this is the year he has to make the Super Bowl with a first-round buy. Like, if he does it, man, you guys might be screwed. I mean, that might be the best offense he's ever had. And he's got a top-five defense, too. I mean, what the frick just
just happened. Like, that's the most interceptions he's thrown today, but that's the most yards, too. Not to mention 42 touchdowns with 73% completion percentage. Like, this might be MVP numbers as a 38-year-old great-grandfather. I mean, imagine his touchdown numbers if his backup running back didn't vulture 14 away from him. Three 1,000-yard receivers with George freaking Pickens putting up 18 touchdowns. That had to be enough. I mean, had to be enough to win another MVP. That's another one for Patrick. I mean, that's only what? Like, the sixth time he's won the MVP. Not to mention the 13 Pro Bowl appearances. And I'm telling you, man, Mahomes is sneaking on up there second all-time in passing touchdowns. In passing yards, he's catapulted up there into third place. But for any of that to matter, he has to win another Super Bowl here because he'll probably more than likely never get another first round bye. The Raiders have beat us so many times in the playoffs. There is no way on home soil we let the Raiders beat us again and we get a massive 28 point dub. Now the only team that stands in our way here is the Jacksonville Jags. Home field advantage, no way. Mahomes loses one game shy of the Super Bowl. I have full faith that he's gonna make another one here. This time with the Steelers and we lose by two touchdowns. That's an absolute heartbreaker for the boys. And Super Bowl 69 would have been the perfect Super Bowl to make. Hopefully he runs it back another season with the Steelers so he can make it right back next year. Which I guess he did get taken down by the eventual Super Bowl champs. Now please don't tell me he decided to retire after an MVP campaign. Oh gosh, Herbert retired. That's not a good omen. Josh Allen is also gone. A lot of players retire in this offseason but I still don't see Mahomes. Now obviously the main question here is rather or not Mahomes runs it back again with the Steelers. And unfortunately it does look like Patrick moved on. Obviously the main question is to what team? Patrick is now a New York Jet. He is 39 and finally did lose his X Factor and is all the way down to an 84. No shot they got Mahomes on a one year like 13 million dollar deal. I mean he is doing in a pretty solid squad. The one and only question here in 2035 is whether or not this team has enough juice to make the playoffs. And it is absolutely vital that he does for you guys because this could be the last year before he retires and you guys still need a Super Bowl ring. And Mahomes is not going out with a fight. He does win the division with an 11-6 and six record. Not the best offense in the league, but we can settle for top five. And just a mediocre defense, so it's going to be tough to make the Super Bowl. But what do you know? Just another ridiculously stupid season from Mahomes. And for the 8 millionth time, has three 1,000-yard receivers in the same season. Don't know if those numbers were good enough for MVP, though. Oh my god, Mahomes just goes out again at the age of 39 and wins his second. 7th MVP award. He's still 6,000 yards behind Brady for passing yards, but for passing touchdown, Patrick Mahomes now claims the throne, which finally completes another challenge. So literally, all Patrick needs here is just one more Super Bowl. So let's take it one step at a time have to beat the Bengals first and we get a massive dub 31 to 3 and look at who we have to play in the divisional it would kind of be poetic if the Chiefs were the team to knock Patrick Mahomes out and send him into retirement so that would kind of be hilarious but I'm not expecting it I'm expecting a big win oh god dude all that stands in our way is the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson and if we can win this thing boys we are headed right back in the Super Bowl we can't lose again one game shy we lost by one point. Oh my god, dude. This is so tainted. And it went into overtime too and we missed an extra point. We missed an extra point which kept us out of the Super Bowl. Even though winning another Super Bowl would technically lose me money, this still makes me sick. You cannot retire on that note, Patrick. You just can't. Oh no, dude. Why do I have a bad feeling? No, 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 no. We were so freaking close. We were literally one Lombardi away and we had so many chances. Although Mahomes did miss out completing his career challenge by a pubic hair, it is beyond safe to say our guy still had one of the best NFL careers of all time. Regardless, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, you can click right here to watch me play through the entire career of Bryce Young, and let me tell you, if you thought Mahomes' career was crazy, Bryce Young might have been a little bit crazier.